So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and finally guys, finally I have found what has to be one of the rarest weapons in the game, if not the rarest. Today we get into it all. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so this is a weapon I've previously tried to farm. I tried to farm for literally three or four hours straight using all the tools I could in terms of buffing that discovery to try and get this thing and it just wouldn't drop. Another two hours dedicated to getting this thing guys and it finally dropped from me. The weapon is known as the Watchdog's Great Sword. Guys, attribute scaling strength S to ya. You need this in your life. Uh, it requires 30 strength and 10 dexterity. You can apply an Ash of War to this thing. It is an absolute brute of a weapon. A weapon you need in your life. I don't, I don't need to. I don't need to be telling you guys about this thing. You can see it for yourselves. You can see how good this thing is for yourselves. So it's called the Watchdog's Greatsword. I've applied all the beautiful Lion's Claw Ash of War to these scales. S tier people. Absolute brutal. And we know about these great swords, the recent buffs and, and shiz guys, especially to the Lion's Claw as well. I mean, why not? Why not? Okay, so how do you get this thing? You are wondering, no doubt. Cut to the chase, DPJ, cut to the chase. Okay, so you need to have access to the mountain tops to the giants. So firstly, guys, you need the uh, deck test medallion. Search YouTube for a guide. Use the grand list of deck test. You need to complete this entire area here. Uh, the capital, so that's defeat uh, Godfrey, defeat... Um, I can't remember the other guy here now, but either way, you got to complete the whole capital. And then gain access to the uh, Forbidden Lands. And then you'll have access to the Grand Lift of Road. So once you're up here, guys, you need to come to the Giants and Mountain Top Catacombs. Now to get to here, you need to make your way to this Grace Point right here, guys, which I'll go to and lead you to the Catacombs. Now, there are a few of these type of enemies within these catacombs, but you want to farm the first one we come across, which is closest to the grace. The other two are at the very, very bottom, um, and it's just so, it'll be too long to even bother trying to, trying to farm them. So yeah, from here, guys, you want to jump on your horse, and you want to make your way to here. I'm just going to pinpoint it on the map, because I had this uh, unlocked quite a while back, so I've probably lost track of which way i got to run. But yes, just come this way. Ignore this giant white horse sprinting. Sprint horse, come on. Come on. Now this actually drops. So you probably remember a video I actually covered this uh, this catacombs ages ago. Like it's got a few decent secrets inside of here. Have I come up the wrong way? No, actually you can jump down. Yeah, but I covered this catacombs um, probably about two or three weeks back now. And uh, I said in that video that I'd farm this one this one enemy for hours. And I mean hours, guys. And this thing just would not drop for me. I was actually suspect it was even in the loot pool. But hey, I was sent a video of this thing in action. And I knew straight away where to get it from. So yes. So if you've been here already, you'll know what I'm talking about. You get those, oh shiz. Jesus. You get those like shadow cats, those big black cats uh, that you can't hit unless you draw them into the light. That's the enemy that drops. Uh, this weapon and it is a super rare drop a super rare drop so what we call this um, if you can guys put on obviously uh, the silver scarab this gives you more discovery also if you have the silver tier mask as well again increases that discovery why not and really guys to actually uh, fight this dude you need a weapon that can hit from range you need a weapon that can hit from range. I'm using, which I do recommend, is the Margarin Sacred Spear. This thing destroys, and you'll see. You obviously need to level this weapon up as well, guys, because this dude hits real hard. And he's got like an annoying uh, jump attack, which is why I'm using Margarin Spear, because it can hit him through a wall. And that's the route I found, and just thought it's the best way, the most efficient way in actually um, killing this thing. So here's the grace, guys. This is a grace you will be obviously teleporting back to and running back down. So you want to come from here, down here like this. Now, if you have the Margarine Sacred Spear, which you get from Margarine within the Margarine Dynasty area, pull it on, level it up and pull it on. Don't really need anything to assist it. Just pull it on. 
So I've gone all the way down here, guys, and you'll see right there. That's the thing. But we have to draw him up into the light behind him. So you need to run past him. So I'll get his attention because sometimes you can lose aggro on you quick. Get his attention, run straight to the back of this light and just pop this. This will kill the other little lads coming to, around you. And it'll take a little health off him. That's what you want to do. Now, guys, wait for him to jump and then just dodge. I've got, oh man, I've got too many weapons on, so I'm slow. And then, guys, you want to come down here, just like so, and just drop it again. That thing is going to kill me, and it, oh, well, if it does, it doesn't really matter. I can just show you again. There you go, that thing is dead now. Okay, so let me just quickly unequip the sword. It's so heavy, obviously. And I'm going to run up here, and you'll see if you got it or not. Obviously, I haven't got it. And then from here, guys, you'd obviously teleport back to that grace point, which I will show you if this guy's going to come up here. Are you going to come up here, lad? There you go. And I'll run you through that again, just to show you exactly what to do. Go back to the grace point and run back down here. Like I said, this is a super rare drop. A super, super rare drop. I mean, probably five plus hours in total for me trying to get this thing. So, yeah. Now, this guy down here, you can completely ignore. Don't worry about this guy. If he follows you down, a lot of the time he actually starts fighting the cat with you. But sometimes he can now go on to you. So yeah, just be careful about that. Now I can actually roll without being stuck. Okay, so yeah, again, get this cat's attention. I run up behind him. Just like so. I run to the edge of this. And just pop that. Those two then should be killed. If he's got your attention, he should come up. Just, just drop it. Just don't stop spamming it until you hit him. Sometimes he probably will catch you out and get you, which is fine as long as you, you don't get one shit by him. That's fine. And just dodge, 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 and keep running down here. And if you're using the sacred spear, just pop it there, and it will do damage to him because the, the range on this thing is absolutely brutal. And just keep popping it until he dies, and you should be fine. Now, if you ain't got this weapon, you're gonna have to fight him from afar, unless you got something else that's powerful. Because I tried with the Rivers of Blood, I tried with a few other weapons, and I mean, it just absolutely obliterates you, it really does. So yeah guys, it really is that simple, I'll show you one more time, exactly what I do, one more time, exactly what I do. So yeah, you can also as well guys, by the way, jump through this window at the bottom here. But when you do that, the cat normally aggroes you a bit quicker, let me just quickly take this guy out and I'll show you what I mean. You ain't going nowhere, boy. Don't know what you're trying. Oh, you dropped something nice for me. What you drop? Oh, nothing. So if you jump through here, normally the cat will get your attention and he'll probably hit you before you get a chance to run up behind him. I mean, I'll show you what I mean. It's annoying. I've done it a couple of times and he aggroed me quicker and he just jabs me. You can see? There you go. He aggroed you a bit quicker. But you can jump there through there if you want to. And do it that way. It's up to you. Again, just make your way here, guys, and just keep spamming this attack. I mean, yeah, I'm just going to do it one more time and try and get out of the way. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Run down here. Again, just sit under here, guys, and use this. Now, the black cats, like I said, the two others that are in here are way further down. And it just ain't worth your time trying to farm them. It just it just makes it so less efficient. See, it's just doing this with this uh, Mogwin Sacred Spear, if you have it. And it's teleporting straight back to that grace. If you haven't got that, like I said, you're going to need a good ranged weapon. A powerful, quick, uh, close quarters weapon. Because this dude hits hard. Real hard. And it's hard to stagger as well. So yeah, guys. That is how you get the beastly. And I've lost it now. Where is it gone? There it is. The beastly watchdog's great sword. It's scaling without strength. One I do recommend you gain. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more out of ring, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully it might be beautiful people. I will see you on that next one.